Okay, just stay there, please. Don't rock the camera. Okay. Please. <laughs> Their tail in the background. Yes. Oh, hello. Oh my God. Yeah! Dude, uh, okay, you can sit there, that's fine. Just don't knock it over, please. Let's address the elephant in the room. Uma, please. <laughs> yeah, I need to tell, well this video is about you, so come on. All right, anyway, we are home. I can't even begin to express how happy I am to be back it feels like I'm me again. It feels like I just, I, ha, hi. But as you can see by the title, this video is about Uma making friends with one of my mom's cats, which was just personally the highlight for me of being back home. Because when I adopted Uma, one of the first things they told me was that she does not seem to like other cats at all. I didn't mind because I loved Uma so much and had such a great connection with her right away that if she did end up having to be the only cat that I had, I was fine with that because I just, I love her. And I even saw like, she's living her life. I even saw like with my own eyes, her acting very aggressively to other animals. So, taking her to my mom's, I didn't have a choice, I had to. I was worried about how she would deal with my mom's cats, because she has two. And one of them, her name's Casey, she's like 16 or 17 years old. And the other one, her name's Baby, and she's only like eight. First of all, I was in Delaware for six months, which, I can't even get into that, but, Okay. Okay, stop eating stuff. Now, Uma only got along with Casey. She still did not get along with Baby the whole time. And I think that's because Casey would not like feed into Uma's aggression. Like Uma could be aggressive to Casey, hiss at her, growl at her, hit her, whatever. And Casey would just take it and not do anything and just kind of sit there and look at her like, I'm old, I don't care, you know? Sadly didn't happen until about a month or so before we had to leave, but Uma and Casey actually started hanging out and playing together and just being cute together. And it was like so cool for me. It was like my world's colliding. My cat, meeting my childhood cat and being, fr it, very weird. I had such a big proud cat mom moment. <laughs> Uh, seeing her like adjust to being around another adult cat. I mean, you never know. One day, Uma might get a little baby brother or something. I don't know. I'm not saying anything for sure, but I someday I, I could see it happening someday. But before we get into the cute footage, you already know this video is sponsored by Raycon. <laughs> First of all, Raycon sent me a new pair. Thank you very much. So now I have the blue ones. But before they sent me these, I wore my usual red ones on the plane on my way home. I had them in my little ears, dude. I got some like sparkling wine on the plane. I was living my life with my little Raycons. They held up the whole flight and even when they did start to kind of uh, run out on battery, which took hours, I could just like put them back in the case for a little bit and they charged pretty fast too. I didn't have to leave them in there for very long before I could take them back out and start using them again. And of course, they're also great for cleaning the house and like if you want to listen to music, like yeah, you could play music on a speaker out loud while you clean, but like what if you gotta walk away from the speaker or what if you like have a vacuum on or like you got the water running so you can't really hear the music anymore. Not with Raycon, brother. Walk around. No little wires hanging. You're not like tethered to a machine. You're free to go. Now, obviously one of my favorite things about Raycon earbuds is how well they fit in my ears. Now keep in mind, my ears are very small, so it's gonna look like they bulge out a little bit. But even for me, they stay in really well. And as always, Raycons have a variety of different colors and patterns to choose from. The Bluetooth sync is super easy. The sound is great. There's even really good bass. Like you can actually like feel it in your ears. It's 
It's really great. Raycon is disrupting the electronics industry by designing premium wireless audio for half the price without compromise. Hat. They're doing things differently than other brands out there from the way they design their products to the way they price them. Raycon prioritizes those customers' experience from start to finish. And if you're like me and trying desperately to slightly decrease your screen time but still want the entertainment, if you still want the entertainment while you walk around, you can... <laughs> oh! Okay, now you follow me because I walk away. Commit. So click the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash Riley to get 15% off of your entire order. As always, Raycon, thank you so much for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching and supporting the brands that support me because by supporting those brands, you're directly helping me as well. So thank you very much. I really love working with Raycon, they're great. Now for the cute cat content. That's right, right? Don't you? <laughs> Bebo. Hi, Mima. Yeah. Oh, Come on, baby. Come on, you know your friends. Your friends. Your friends, Bebo. Oh, my cummy. Go say hi, Bebo. Why are you acting scared? Oh, my, you go say hi, Bebo. Oh, you say hi, Bebo. No, you be nice to be both. She didn't mean it. She didn't mean it. She didn't mean it. She's scared. She doesn't know. You're not scary. Oh my. <laughs> Say hi, Bebo. Come on, Mima. Yeah, Kippy. No, we're not eating. Beep a Kippy. Kippy. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Go say hi, Bebo. Oh, she's your friend, sis, like aunt, I guess. What are you, Bebo? Oh, <laughs> dude. Okay. Yeah, I know that's what you're waiting for. Huh? Oh, I'm gonna come sit in the middle of the floor. What do you think? Hmm. What do you think, Bebo? Come on. Yeah. Say hi, Bebo. Bebo. Bebo, no. It's okay, Mimi. It's okay, Mimi. Come here. It's okay. How <laughs> nice, Bebo. Bebo, you be gentle with her. Okay? I know you're nicer than Baby, but she's fragile. Okay? Uma, come here. Oh, come on, Bebo. You feel bad, Bebo? Yeah. Here, yeah, Kippy! Scared her, Bebo. Damn, Uma, come here. 
She's not going to chase you. She's trying to play. She was just trying to play with you. Bebop, it's okay. Come here, Bebop. It's okay. Bebop, don't leave. Come here, Mimi. Come here. Bebop just wants to play with you. Right, Bebop? <laughs> oh. Bebop, oh. Bebop. Bebop. Mimi, it's okay, Mimi. It's okay, Mimi. Okay, don't eat the tag, but like, it's fine. She's just playing with you, it's okay. You're not being nice. What happened, Bebop? Say hi to Mima. Say hi, Mima. Say hi, Mima. Can be friends. <laughs> Love you. You guys friends, best friends. Oh, 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 oh. Go make friends. Go make friends. Standoff, nothing, nobody did anything. Oh, go be friends. Oh, you go be friends with Beepe. Oh, you go be friends with Beepe. Oh, you go be friends with Beepe. Say hi, Uma. Oh, be nice. <laughs> See, she was nice. Ooh, she's by your potty. Oh. Come at me. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Say hi. What do you think? Your friends. Your friends? Don't give her those eyes, Uma. Go say hello to your niece, Mima. <laughs> oh. Ni -ni 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 -ni. No. You're not sneaky. You're old. <laughs> I've known you for a long time. Okay, I know your little tricks. Oh. Thank you. Say hi. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh, my be nice. She is your grandma. Oh. Respect your elders, Uma. Be back. Look what you did, Bebop left. Bebop! Oh, she's coming back. <gasps> yeah, she apologized. Say hello, you Bebop. <clears> Hi. <throat> right. No, get that baby! You, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you gotta fix your attitude first. Bebop. Did you kick Uma out the bed? Oh my god, y'all. Hi. <gasps> Are you making friends? That's so good, Uma. I'm so proud of you. 
Hey, be nice. Don't talk sh No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Bebop doesn't want to play. Bebop wants to sleep. You sleep with Bebop, okay? Oh. Oh, you want to hold the camera? <laughs> Dude. Say hi, Bebop. <laughs> she doesn't want to play, Uma. She's tired. Yeah, do it. Do it to me. Don't do it to Bebop. Leave Bebop alone. She wants to sleep. <laughs> this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Viva. Uma. Play with people. You want to sneeze and get hair. Oh, <laughs> Bebop, it's okay, Bebop. You don't have to leave. Okay. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, Bebop doesn't want to play. Sorry, Bebop. You're a good girl, though, Uma. You are so good. I'm so proud of you. Good girl, Uma. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Play with your tail. Bye, Viva. Good night, Viva. Good night. Yes, look, it was about you. You miss Casey, you miss Biba. Oh. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned, because now that I'm home, I'm just in a better mood. <laughs> uh, new videos coming, and more streams coming once my setup gets shipped here. I'm still waiting on that. So, love you guys so much. Thank you for sticking with me and being there, and I will... See you next time. Love you, bye. Mm, Uma, Uma say bye. Uma. Okay, bye.